Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes, today is the last video of 2020. Um, I'm actually filming it a day earlier than I normally do it, but that's because I'm gonna be busy tomorrow. I kind of wanted to just make this video to say thank you for everything. Um, next year, 2021, is gonna be different, I guess. Um, with everything going on in the world and stuff, it's gonna be really hard to, like, really understand or try to do anything next year um i'm hoping that things get better for the world i would have never thought that any of this would have happened um i hope next year we will um have a lot more going for us for this channel i'm working on a new show as i mentioned um i am thinking up a couple of ideas for films I wasn't gonna announce it on my next update, but I guess I'll announce it here. I'm actually already writing for the continuation of my little mini-series called Intervention. It's gonna be a little different from <laughs> what you've seen. Uh, I won't tell you the premise because I kind of wanted to make it a surprise. Um, but it's, it's cute, I would say. It's a little different, but it keeps the same feeling, I guess you could say. I'm just excited for what kind of ideas I'll bring into the table for my channel. Um, you know, every year I always end up doing something completely different, or maybe not, but I'm hoping the next year I can. I am getting older, I don't have as much energy sometimes and or the freedom to do a couple of things that I would love to do. But since we're in pandemic and working is like weird right now, I should be able to at least do some indoor stuff i'm currently learning how to paint so i might make a painting video um more among us content and yeah i don't know i'm i'm still working out all the kinks of what kind of stuff i want to do i have an idea for a new music video um so i cannot wait for you guys to see that it should be very simple honestly there's nothing crazy another thing i want to mention is how much I appreciate what I did this year. I was able to make a mini series with five episodes of um, Intervention. I really enjoyed making them and they were actually really fun to make. My new Let's Chat series I also did this year. Um, can't believe that became a thing. Um, I would like to make more, more Let's Chats. Um, I always find them very like fun and it's kind of my gateway to like podcasting or whatever, but it's really nice to just have your group of friends and start talking about whatever comes up. I'm so grateful for finishing my series in hiding. I can't believe that it happened. I was actually looking back at one of my um, end of the year videos, the 2018 one, and I didn't realize I even mentioned season four. So I was like, wow, I've been planning this for a while, like over two years. <laughs> like it happened. And I'm honestly so grateful it happened. I worked really hard on that series. I started it so early into 20 not so early like midway of 2019 and finished it this year and i released it this year and it ended this year and so it's just like wow but i'm grateful for the experience of it my short films this year was only really two i've only had two short films um alone was my first attempt at a very like horror like thriller i wanted it to feel uncomfortable like in a like eerie kind of way so I'm glad that I did it. And then the other one with uh, Did I Do That. As you know, Did I Do That is based, the title is based off Steve Urkel's um, catchphrase, Did I Do That. But <laughs> yeah, it was basically like a very like mystery uh, film that I had help from Nelson in creating. Because I wanted to make another short film because I got a new camera. And I didn't know what I wanted. So I was like, hey Nelson, could you like help me? Like like film something and then he was like why don't you use your characters and also make it a mystery so i decided to um do that and it turned out really good and it was honestly one of the best takes of my characters as of now um they're not gone they're still here this isn't the last you'll see of them i know you haven't seen them since the short film but that's only because i've just been so busy with like the moving situation and then my personal life and it's just like a lot so sorry if 
um, you like the characters and you haven't seen them, I'm going to be making more. Um, they're gonna come back for my um, intervention continuation. And yeah, sorry if I didn't have a lot of vlogs this year. It was a very weird year. I'm glad I did that one long vlog that was from March to like November. So much has changed since then. I'm so glad I now live in a different apartment from the other apartment you guys seen. Um, moving this year was something I didn't know was gonna happen, especially after the pandemic. I didn't think I was gonna move, but I ended up moving. And I moved a lot closer to my friends, so I'm honestly really thankful that I now live closer to people I care about so much. So yeah, that's the thing. Like really, a lot of like my only friends pretty much live in the vicinity, so I could like go see them by walking. Like it's very walking distance, like it's, it's honestly really cool, so I'm really glad that I get to do that. But I can't wait for you guys to see what happens next year. I can't wait to see what happens next year because as of now I don't know what's gonna happen next year and that's what I, I didn't know what was gonna happen last year um, when I mentioned about 2020 and boy if I knew the things I knew now I would have done things differently I wouldn't get my hopes up too much to making this new series as early as I wanted it to since I wanted to start filming back in June but y'all know what happened in June so um yeah we couldn't really do anything and honestly even though this year really did suck for a lot of people myself included um the one thing i could take out of 2020 is giving yourself time for yourself um quarantine kind of feeling very isolated um isn't really good for me in a way even though i'm very like introverted and i don't like being out being really stripped away from everybody and stuff really made me put into perspective everything i've learned to appreciate myself more i even though i was going a little crazy i did like taking care of myself if that makes sense um last year i was like working a lot um i was I was having like two days off out of a month of working, which sounds surprising because of all the videos I post, but um, my job is still very flexible, so I'm able to do like filming right after I work, and I'm like a very workaholic person. I, um, I tend to overwork sometimes and would work like seven days a week, and so it was, um, it was really nice to have like the vacation in a way even though i really missed working and when i got here i actually got to do a couple of walks on my own but i really do miss going to do my job and going to see the animals and it makes me appreciate my job even more because i realize how much this job really means to me because most people wouldn't want to go back to work but i really do and and i was trying to look for new jobs and i didn't get them and in a way i feel like I wasn't supposed to get them because that wasn't what I wanted to do. I would just say even though this year really sucked and so many people are suffering, I think you should take time for yourself and really heal and try to find purpose. I'm still trying to find it. Um, I don't have all the answers. I'm not whatever. I'm just a guy trying to figure it out probably will never actually find the answer but i hope it's better than i guess where i'm at now even though i'm at a pretty good spot i think i just have to keep reminding myself that no matter what happens i need to keep seeing it through but yeah anyway this ain't no philosophical channel so sorry if you got some of that uh, i just this year has made me grown a lot from any other year i feel like i've matured i know what I want to do in life. I want to keep creating. I want to, I just want to do things, you know, I just want to really be a, an adult. Like I'm not a kid anymore. I have to worry about bills and I have to <laughs> worry about keeping a job, um, saving money, building credit, like what? But, <sighs> but yeah, I hope next year I'm still doing this. I'll see you guys next time. Kazunte.